Who'd have thought it, eh? 25 years together. Yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, time flies. Yeah. yeah. We're not looking a day younger, are we? <laughs> With a bit less hair. <laughs> Oh, it all started, obviously, just over 25 years ago. Uh, I've always wanted to set up my own firm, I guess. Um, and so uh, the firm was born 1st of July 1992, when I left Grant Thornton. And, uh, but I realised I didn't want to do it on my own. I wanted to work with a partner, um, someone who had expert tax knowledge for a start. Um, and that's really why I approached Peter. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we formulated the idea together. Um, and we haven't looked back since, really. When we started, um, we hired a little office in uh, Marlborough Place, just by the King and Queen. That was right in the centre of the uh, business community in Brighton. Um, quite a few clients uh, joined us. It was a good location to grow a business from, wasn't it? It was, yeah. 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 We knew about their challenges business-wise, and we could empathise with their issues. Same sort of journey, wasn't it? We exactly, were, yeah. We were yeah. following ourselves. They appreciated that because we got loads of referrals from the clients and the contacts. And that's uh, and that's how the business just started expanding and exactly, has continued yeah. ever since. Really, and that's where we are now. Well, it's been some journey over the last 25 years, hasn't it? Well, it certainly has. It's been a it's been a lot of hard work, but um, also a lot of fun as well. Well, like all businesses, um, we have faced our challenges, and I think the biggest challenge we've uh, we, we've had over the years has been when we had to move from London Gate, wasn't it? We had a particularly tricky landlord and we had we to did. leave, so we moved to our new larger premises. Yes, and I mean that's turned out to be a blessing in disguise really because um, at the time when we moved in we were only 12 of us and, and that did seem a challenge to, uh, to have such a large building relative to what we had before, but we've, we've over the years grown the team uh, to 25 um, and you know it's been a particularly nice building in which to, to work. It's given us a chance to develop a really good team, hasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. The highlight as a tax person, sadly, is uh, when I represented one of our clients at the tax tribunal, and uh, it's got a tricky case, and uh, revenue didn't agree with us, but the judge agreed that we were right, and um, now it's reported as one of the leading cases in the, on the subject, so that's quite good for me. Um, what about you then, Paul? Well, no tax cases, but uh, <laughs> no, I think the highlight for me has definitely got to be um, our 20th anniversary party uh, and the rebrand that took place at that point when we changed from uh, Feast Hedgethorn, as we were, to Plus Accounting. Um, and that really was the catalyst for the growth that we've enjoyed um, over the last five years and you know, made a significant difference to how the firm operates and and how it's perceived in the in the local business community. Uh, working together over the last 25 years has been pretty good and I think one of the main reasons is because we're actually different. We bring different skill sets to the to the business, don't we? Yeah, you've always been more of the driver, haven't you, whereas I'm yeah, I guess so. a bit more of the tax technical sort of person. Yeah, but in a business like ours you, you need to have that mm. expertise at the at the forefront of the firm really. No, I've always been here to bounce the ideas off and Absolutely. sometimes say no. Mostly agree. <laughs> <laughs> well the key to our success I think has been the development of the PLUS approach over the last few years and that's really brought together the, the core values of our business um, and at the top of the list is, is being genuinely interested in our clients' businesses and being proactive um, in a meaningful manner. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we empathise well with our clients and we know what they're going through. Yeah. So we can advise them on. And I think clients do appreciate as well having us having an opinion about their businesses. And so, you know, if they're faced with a tricky decision, then they can come to us and know that they're going to get, you know, decent business advice. So what's next then, Paul? Well, more of the same really. I mean the business over the last few years has grown very nicely. Um, there's lots of good new clients, uh, staff have developed very well um, and I think that uh, we can just continue to do that. The Brighton business community is very vibrant isn't it and uh, yeah, we want to go along with that. Um, it'd be nice to get those digitals a bit more involved in all those tax reliefs so they can get. <laughs> Absolutely and I think that um, Apart from tax, there's plenty of things we can be doing to, to grow this business further over the next few years.
It's like the Chuckle Brothers now. <laughs> <laughs> to me, so to me, to you. <laughs> That's what it's like. Eh? <laughs>